Well, today I saw a video. I was just looking through uh, random videos and saw where this family's upset because uh, police officers were chasing after uh, their family member. His name was Brown, and uh, one of the cops ran him over. And that the uh, coroner is trying to say that the guy did not die because the police officer hit him. It was because he the car landed over the top of him. You know, when he went down on the ground, then when the car went over the top of him, he died, you know, couldn't breathe. When obviously you can look into the, the video with the dash cam and see that the cop ran him over. Okay? There's no doubt about it. I cannot believe that a little jury or whatever, you know, they decided not to press the charges on the cop. I do believe he got fired. Who knows if they won't hire him back later. But anyway, they're not going to press any charges on the guy. And uh, the family's very upset. Now, I would be upset too. And I guess this is unusual to release a tape of a person dying like this. And uh, I'm going to put a link down below in the description where you guys can see the video. And tell me what you think. Do you think, I think that the police officer should have been fired plus charges. He should go in prison. He killed somebody. But I do got to notice some things here. The family was paid $500,000 to not pursue anything from this event happening, which I find it weird that they're uh, wanting to show the video to the world and want to try to do something more on this when they were paid $500,000. That's weird. Okay, but number number one thing that I notice here is that the guy ran away from the police. Supposedly, just seatbelt. It was he wasn't wearing a seatbelt, and the guy took off. This goes on to my logic of bad things happen to people who do bad things. If that's all it was, you don't run from that. And even if it was something else, you don't run from that either. Time and time again, you see a person being pulled over for one thing, they suspect, like they know they got warrants or whatever, or they maybe they got they know they got drugs or a weapon in the car, and they take off. Sometimes, actually, they had no warrants. And they just take off. They just got scared and they take off. When you do that, you piss off the police. You make them mad. And uh, um, things are going to happen. I mean, they're going to take their aggression out on you for taking off like that. I mean, you're doing your job, you're pulling somebody over, you're going to give them a ticket for not wearing a seatbelt, and now you've got to pursue the person. And I, I can understand why they're pissed off. And what if they catch him? What if he hurts them? they got to be worried. Maybe he has a weapon. They haven't got to frisk him yet. All these things play in a police officer's mind. And yeah, there's cops who use their aggression on people. I've seen over and over again videos on YouTube, and it pisses me off. It makes me mad. Like not too long ago, where the cops shot a dog. When clearly in my mind, the dog was not going to bite them. Okay? He was acting really nice. And I think, I think they went too far. And, and if you're going to shoot him, just shoot him once. Don't shoot him over and over again until he's dead. So in this case, this man would not be dead if he didn't take off running. Plain and simple. He would have been right there in his vehicle. They would have, you know, gave him a ticket and he would have been on his way or they would have arrested him. But he wouldn't be dead. My advice is don't take off from the police. Don't do it. You know, I've had um, a run-in with the police like when I was... Uh, I was 16 or whatever, and I ran away from a group home, and I was in an alleyway, and they were looking for somebody else. These cops, this cop was. There was a helicopter that went across. I saw the helicopter, and then all of a sudden, there's four police cars, and I'm in an alleyway, like an L. Two cop cars came down this way. Two cop cars came down this way, and when the guy put me up against the car, he was a black man. He was reaching in my pocket to uh, frisk me and stuff, and uh, I moved because it tickled, okay? And I had never been frisked before ever anyway. And he slammed me up against the car and threatened to beat me up if I don't uh, stand still, which I did then, you know. I was scared to death. I really was. And then he handed me over to a white cop, and the cop said, like, you know, uh, you're with me now because... You really pissed him off and all that because you moved. I only moved a, a, an inch, you know what I mean? But he took his aggression out. 
Lesson for me is to stand perfectly still, you know, while they're frisking you. But you don't take off because if you do, things like this is going to happen. And it's terrible what happened. The guy should go to prison. I just watched a video where a guy is saying that blacks should, you know, uprise against the whites and grouping all the whites together, saying that we are a part of the problem, like me, I'm a part of the problem because I don't stop it. What, I'm going to put a link to that video too. It'll be the second link if you want to click on it and hear what the guy says. But he's wanting to group all of us together. We're just as powerless as the blacks. I cannot change what cops do and all that. I'm not going to uprise against the government. Forget it. I ain't. Then really bad things will happen to you. You will end up dead for sure. You cannot go up against the government. All right. You guys have a good one. Take care. And God bless.